Let us be careful.
Make every strike count. You are today's sacrifice! The light! Take you! You won't survive me. Into the fray! Forwards. Go for their hearts! Every strike counts. I require healing. the wrong month. to finish me off it's not exactly unexpected what else are we supposed to do with you you're not just a traitor you're a monster the young ones believed you and you lured them to a demon and watched them eat human flesh I was trying to make them strong what have you done for them what were you doing while I was looking for ways to bring strength to our tribe you're useless, Lan. I led by example. I trained. I tried to become stronger so I could go to the surface and maybe do something worthwhile with my stupidly short life. And I will do it. I might be the one to bring our whole tribe to the surface. But you? Why would you want any power that turns you into a monster? These young guys and girls, they trusted you. And they were turned into mindless animals, ready to eat corpses at a demon's command. 
I went through the same ritual as them, and I didn't become an animal. I conquered my anger. The anger that has been building and building in every one of us for decades. Unlike you, I have no intention of just lying down and politely accepting death. I will rise above all this, while you'll still be stuck with your pride, chewing on rats. <sighs> it's gone. It was just there, and now... It's gone. It's got to be some kind of demonic trickery. You need to have a cleric look at that. If she had been marked by the Abyss, do you think some nobody priests will be able to help? No, the demons have branded this Uplander, and judging by the smell of the blood pouring from her chest, the demons will be able to find her wherever she goes. And they'll find you, too, Lan. Better to serve a strong master than to eke out an existence in a dark hole with no hope. I am of the Neethers. Our lives are short, but we are hardier than humans. I realized a long time ago that I was capable of more than this life offered. And I follow whomever is the strongest. I thought you were better than that. I thought you were proud of your heritage. But you're willing to crawl on your belly before anyone who's even a little bit stronger than you. You're not a mongrel. You're a cave slug. You have no understanding of the meaning of family or tribe. Oh, so now you think you know everything about me. You're one of the best hunters in the tribe that benefited me to ingratiate myself with you. So I acted in a way that pleased you. Saba Malik is always in need of new servants. You'd make as good a servant as anyone else, and then... <laughs> once you've gone missing in the maze, not even the redoubtable land would have dared look for you. But then why did you come with me to look for the sword? So I could kill you quietly if you found it and stop you taking it to the village, you idiot. I would have told everyone that you got caught in a cave-in. But then the Uplander showed up and I had to change my plans. Yes. Porcilla found me in the caves. I was lost and hungry. And she offered me a choice. Die as a nobody or live and gain the power to change everything. Sava Malik tore off a piece of an Azimar priestess's thigh. A big, juicy piece. More meat than I'd ever received in the tribe. <laughs> that was the first time I knew what it was like to be happy. To have a full belly. I swore to myself that it would always be that way. Then the madness and rage took over. I came very close to turning into an animal, no better than the weaklings you saw in the maze. But I am strong. I mastered myself. I brought myself under control. I fell so that I could rise again. You should have chosen death. Dying's better than living like... that. You're saying I should have died that day, Lan. But then who would have listened to your feeble jokes? Who would have showed you the best caves for hunting? Who would have made you a man? I would have been fine without all that. And without you. 
Your death will make the world a slightly better place, Wenduog. It was simple. I lured those I deemed worthy into the maze. To the rest, I told stories of the horrors of the maze, making them stay away. It all hung in the balance when the cave walls shuddered, and many of the young ones decided that the time of their great exodus had come. I had no doubt that Hosilla would dispatch a dozen young meters easily. But what would become of the maze if all the tribes poured in? So when Lan ran off looking for the Angel's sword, I went after him. Not to help him, but to make sure that the sword never reached Neatholm. It's a pity that you got involved and stopped me from killing him. But then again, the evening gong has not yet been struck. You sickened me. You need idiots like Lan, do-gooders like that nice lady in her nice armor. It makes you weak, and I don't follow weak people. The lady in the nice armor already beat you down once, and she'll do it again. You can be sure of that. I understand why you're with them. First, you went along with Lan, a fool and a dreamer by showing Sol the light of heaven. Then you interrupted the ritual with your so-called holy light, not even considering what that would lead to. Weak-willed fools always flock together. Oh, so you think we're weak, Wenduog? Tell me, which of us is crawling in the dirt right now? Sucking up to strong people hasn't turned you into a conqueror. It's turned you into a pathetic piece of trash. The final gong hasn't struck yet, Lan. But when it does, you'll regret being such a gullible fool. like looking at you, Uplander. I'll just wait till you're asleep, and then I'll slit your throat. No matter where you are. She's gone. But next time, she won't get away. Damn it, Wendu. Why do you have to go and... Anyway, there's... No point crying over spilt milk. Give me a couple of minutes. I'll bring the chief and the rest. I need to clear my head.
while the survivors wander the dungeons, the battle on the surface rages on. The warriors of Canabris are trying to defend the Wardstone, but their strength is flagging. Their resistance is valiant, yet it will all be in vain if no one rises up to turn the tide. By the goddess, Nevi, I... I'd almost lost all hope. Everything's fine, Beth. I'm here. I'm here. This here is a new friend. She rounded up those of us who survived the fall and led us up to the surface. Without her, we'd never have made it out. Let me introduce you to my wife, Arabeth Tirabade, head of the Eagle Watch. Hmm. Until the army arrives, I'm the temporary warden of Canabras. And you're just in time. As you can see, we're in the middle of a battle. And... Thank you for getting Anevia out of there. The Grey Garrison. Until recently, it served as barracks for the Crusaders. But it's now been taken over by cultists. When the demons attacked the city, their main target was the Wardstone. I trust I don't have to explain to you what the Wardstone is and how important it is to the Crusaders. We must retake it at any cost, or the fall of Canabras will be the beginning of the end of the Crusades, and with them, the rest of the world. I see that you had a difficult journey to the surface. You need to rest. But there's a lot riding on this battle. I have no right to command you, but I'm asking you to help us. Very good. Report to me in full when we get back to the Defender's Heart. It's our temporary headquarters. Right now, the most dangerous cultists are here. The ones occupying the Grey Garrison. Most people in Canabras think that the children of the First Crusaders are simply a legend. Other people say that the day you emerge on the surface heralds the start of the end of the world. I'm not superstitious, but the situation is apocalyptic, all right. Having a living legend on our side can't hurt. Come on, living legend? A walking folktale, maybe? I just need to make sure I don't turn into a running joke. The city's gone. Most of the Defenders, including the Dragon Terendelev, fell in the first few hours. The civilians either fled or died in the chaos. The place is overrun with cultists and demons. Don't talk like that. Canabras hasn't fallen. Not while it still has Defenders like you and me. Sweet words don't change the grim truth. No, she's right. Thank you, Knight. Until we no longer have the strength to hold a weapon, until Ioma Day abandons us, we will fight for Canopus. 
The ward stones are a gift of Ioma Day. Created personally by her herald, a mighty angel, and a general of the celestial armies. The ward stones keep the world wound from expanding. They stand along the border of the territory controlled by the demons, creating a barrier to keep them inside. The Canabras Obelisk was the first to be placed. It is the key to the whole barrier. We cannot leave it in the hands of those monsters from the Abyss. The demons have long laid siege to Canabras, but this time, their Lord Descari appeared in the flesh. He ripped the ward stone from the ground and hurled it halfway across the city to here. I thought the stone was destroyed, but it seems all is not lost, yet. Descari has gone, but the ward stone is surrounded by a horde of those creatures. What are they going to do to it? Nothing good, that's for certain. But how did he do that? He's a demon! The ward stone should have burned his filthy hide! It should have. But what happened, happened. We don't know why. That's the spirit! You, take Anavia to the rear! The rest of you, with me! Lord Horgus Worm, forgive me. I did not realize we had civilians among us. My people will escort you somewhere safe. To the extent that anywhere in Canabras can be said to be safe right now. That's right. Fighting spirit is the one thing that we've got plenty of. Actual fighting power? That's not so great. Fighting know-how? Even worse. But fighting spirit? <laughs> At least we're rich in that. For Ioma Day! For the Queen! Kill the Beast!
Make every strike count. Survive me. Go. Cool. 
endure this! Every strike counts. Across the wrong mantra. Go for their hearts. your back.
what's this? Do we have guests? <laughs> Just in time. The place is a bit of a mess, and I haven't even poured the blood into the goblets yet. Why don't you... Oh! <gasps> what an unexpected surprise! Staunton, my little sweetheart. Long time no see. I've missed you so much. Have you missed me? Admit it. You missed me terribly. Mirago. You again, you wench! Minago, the one who... Be careful. She's one of the deadliest creatures in the whole demon horde. She was once responsible for a massacre in Canabras. She must be back to finish what she started. Does he know me? Staunton, darling. Tell them all how close we were. That wench? She's the one who led me astray. She's the reason my life has gone to the abyss. She's the reason my Teresin fell. Oh my, like butter wouldn't melt. What I remember is how eagerly you would run to our trysts. How you begged to see me again. How you promised you'd do anything I asked. By your own free will, you said this. And now you claim that Dresden fell because of me. No, no, my dear. That was entirely your own doing. I'll beat your lying lips into your filthy throat! Now, Staunton, don't say things like that. Not about these lips, the ones you kissed so sweetly. Staunton, dearest, don't you love me anymore? Remember how good we were together? I was so hoping that we could patch things up. I'll kill you! What? Yeah! Survive me.
Make every strike count. <laughs> <laughs> 